Hi everybody, welcome back to Organic Master Gardening here at 779 in Southern Hungary. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about why I have um, grass pathways in my vegetable patch and, and there's, there's a number of reasons that for me make a lot of sense. Um, now some people call them living pathways and that's exactly what I'm trying to achieve here. So I don't want the ground to be uncovered. I need it to have something growing in it all the time. And so for me, the perfect option for that is grass. And it gives me a number of benefits. Um, it's, you know, soft underfoot. I'm not walking anything rock hard. I can kneel on it and not do my knees in. Um, but more importantly than that, what I'm looking for is to keep life inside the soil. Um, it's a bit overgrown at the moment because we have quite a bit of rain. But as you can see, either side of these beds, on the edge, uh, I've been strimming. Now, you might say, oh, it's extra work to do. But, you know, with anything that's living, you do have to maintain it. But I do get a plus side out of that, because as I strim, I can flick off any of the grass cuttings onto the beds either side. And now I've got the space, I can bring my mower through here and collect up all this grass, and it's going to go straight into the compost. The other thing about it is because the soil is living, it's, it keeps the soil fed and therefore any plants that are inside these beds will still be able to get the nutrients from anything that's in here, it, it will migrate across. Okay, you do get weeds in your ground, we know that from the no dig principle, but they are substantially less than normal. And yes, if you've got a pure grass path, grass does move sideways and can come into the bed and encroach it. Um, as I walk down this particular path, we'll get to the onion bed and I'll show you a good example of that. But in the main, it's good for the soil. You're keeping it covered. It helps reduce its temperature, which is a big problem for me here on occasions. Um, and it keeps, you know, sequestering the carbon. Now I, I could use wood chip, it's quite expensive for me to do something like that. There's a good example there of the grass ingressing in from the side into the onion bed. So I was telling me about a lot of weeding to do. Anyway, we'll come back to that on another video. But back to the grass, the living path. It's giving me, it's still feeding the soil, it's reducing the soil's temperature, um, and it's good for the environment. And like I say, okay, you might have a bit of work to do, but you're getting, you're still getting an addition to your compost heaps, which is important. You could, if you wanted to, collect the grass cuttings themselves and apply them directly to the beds either side. Absolutely no reason why not. In fact, that's quite a good thing to do in the summer months because it helps retain the moisture on the beds and as it decomposes, feeds those beds at the same time. So for me, it's a win-win. There's another thing as well. If this was all just brown boxes of, of dirt or bedding to um, plant your, your veg and your fruit, it would look pretty drab in the winter months. So having these green pathways still gives you something nice to look at during the winter months. Now in a recent video I did about biodiversity, where I'm looking to increase that in my space, as you can see as we pan around, you can see all these wonderful colours of the poppies. And again, when they all finish off, they'll, die, they'll be cut back down again. So I'm increasing the biodiversity on the, on the margins of the, of the plot, but also, I'm also increasing the biodiversity within the paths themselves as we walk between each bed to conduct any work that we need to do. So for me, a living pathway of grass is very beneficial um, as opposed to wood chip where I would have to continue to top up the wood chip as it rots down. Okay, yeah, the wood chip feeds the soil, but as the wood rots, it's trapping the nitrogen. Whereas in this particular case, it's not, and therefore it's feeding the soil in its surrounding areas. I hope you found that video of interest, and if you did, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. In the meantime, you take care.